welcome to another episode of The Epic, Epic Family Road Trip. Alright, we pulled in for the evening, found a nice little camp spot here, halfway up the hill to uh, Flagstaff, we're at about 5,000 feet elevation, so it could snow tonight, it's uh, pretty chilly and they're expecting flurries at least, so we'll see what happens, but uh, got a fire going in the background and uh, we're just going to make some food and enjoy a good night's sleep, but it is quite exciting to be on our journey homeward, so yeah, join us on, a, on an epic cross-country trip with a few stops along the way. Good morning. Dan and I are going to go out and do some shed hunting. As you can tell, Dan is as excited as I am. He's a little bit tired, but excited. Yeah, so we, last night, or last evening when we pulled in, like always, we go out and uh, stretch our legs and do some walking. And then I spotted some uh, prints and some, a big herd on the other side of the valley. So that, that would be like a big hike to go out to and looking on onyx i don't think we could make it it's a canyon <clears throat> but we're just going to go to this watering hole and we're going to go down some trails and just see if there's any action like rubbing or just a sign that they're getting ready to drop because normally it's in um, the middle of march going into april that they do but you can get lucky sometimes um, with the older ones dropping in January and February. So that's what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna skirt this little watering hole and then uh, continue a couple hundred feet and then uh, just see if there's any signs. So far, nothing. So might be a bit early in this area. No sign of anything except for obviously uh, there were some tracks but no rubs nothing so we're gonna go in pack up and uh, continue to Colorado so first it's Flagstaff we're gonna pick up a few things we haven't been to the grocery store in a while and uh, yeah. so we'll see you there in Flag Hey guys, uh, we had a great sleep there at the camp just south of Flagstaff and uh, this morning we went into Flag, grabbed some groceries and then because the weather was quite decent, the roads were definitely clear, we said let's carry on. So we we're about two hours, two and a half hours outside of uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. At that point, we once we get to Albuquerque, we start heading north. So. We're probably gonna find a camp spot outside of Albuquerque today, and then uh, tomorrow morning, start working our way up through Santa Fe into Colorado. Hopefully the, they got a lot of snow up there in the mountains in this storm, but uh, hopefully in the next day or so, the roads will be cleared off and uh, we'll have smooth uh, passage. So in the meantime, we're just trucking on. All right, we found a, a spot here to camp. Uh, it's still pretty early, but it's uh, super windy and we're about to get into Colorado uh, tomorrow. So we wanna 
just get a good night's sleep here. This is Bureau of Land Management property here. Um, some of you have asked when we say BLM what we're referring to. It, it's the Bureau of Land Management. It's public lands. And uh, nice level ground here. Lots of room for all three rigs. So uh, we're just going to set up and make dinner. But it is windy. Um, there's a big storm that has passed through the whole west, leaving snow in the mountains and high wind warnings everywhere else. So we'll probably be uh, rocking back and forth a bit tonight. But uh, in general, it's a very beautiful place here and uh, should be a good night's sleep. So it's supposed to drop down to minus six tonight. And it is windy out there, but a beautiful sunset. And as you guys know, recently we started using Onyx, uh, especially on the El Camino del Diablo. That was our first overland journey with Onyx as our main mapping system, and we loved it there. We've had a few weeks now with it under our belt, and we've been able to test out a lot of its features. We can just drop pins, mark these good campsites, and with Onyx we'll be able to give those to our patrons. As you know, we often give our GPX files of good camps. The Onyx system compared to other mapping systems is really great because it has features like 3D mapping. You can see, like with topographical maps, you can see hills and stuff, but when you have an RV towing two bikes on a trailer, you really need to be able to tell and we're not expert mappers here so it's it can be kind of hard to just determine exactly how steep a hill is like the one that came into this camp but with being able to go into 3d map being able to plot routes and being able to see other people's input that they've put notes and other things on of what the route is actually like and what vehicles can get through certain areas is really handy and yeah we've been uh, figuring it out and as we keep going over the next few weeks and months and years ahead we're going to find a lot of useful things that are exclusive to Onyx that you just can't get with other mapping systems. So we're going to be camped here for the night and uh, be getting an early start tomorrow morning. Good morning. We had a great sleep here in Grants, New Mexico. It was cold last night. That was the first time we really got to test the uh, Ross Monster in cold weather because we've been mostly in the far south. So it would get below freezing but just briefly overnight occasionally. But last night was minus 6 Celsius, so that's probably like 20, what is it, 25 or 26 Fahrenheit. And uh, we were toasty warm in there all night, so um, first test of the cold weather was great. But we've got a long ways to go today. We're heading through Albuquerque, Santa Fe, into Colorado, working our way up towards Longmont where uh, Ross Monster is. We're going to meet up with the guys there again. And uh, we're bringing the truck into the shop. And leaving it with them for a little while and they're going to be putting some uh, add-ons that we've dreamed up on our trip so far uh, a lot of little things that we uh, think we like for our next journey um, so that's where we're going next all right guys it's been a long day on the road um, we still got an hour and a half to get to where we're headed at least for today um, we just crossed into color, beautiful, colorful Colorado, and um, the landscape sure changed. All of a sudden, we find ourselves back in the mountains with snow on the ground. So we just came through Raton Pass at almost 8,000 feet, and we're heading towards um, Pueblo, and then Colorado Springs, and then up to uh, Denver. So yeah, long journey ahead, but uh, we're making it happen. Beautiful countryside to be driving through. If you've uh, never been out this way, it's definitely worth the drive. Stretching our legs after a long day on the road. Found a spot here on BLM land, right beside, well, just off the highway a little ways. You take a little side road. But uh, gorgeous scenery, mountains in all directions. We're gonna watch a beautiful sunset, get some sleep and uh, head into uh, Longmont tomorrow. It's about two and a half hours from here. So we made it to camp. Everyone's safe and sound. I'm really thankful about that. That was a long day. Lando's been driving with me and that's been kind of fun. He sleeps most of the time. We just did a few passes in New Mexico and Colorado and the RV's doing great. Towing the two bikes. Um, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I'm able to do it. Anyways, kind of, I don't know, feeling a little bit proud of myself there. Um, tonight I'm just making some 
soup. And then we're going to Ross Monster tomorrow and dropping off the truck. I know, crazy, right? But we're getting um, a few things done to it, just little minor things um, and getting it ready for our next big adventure. I can't wait to talk to you guys about that one, but that's coming up later. And then we'll carry on up to Montana, uh, do a few things with the bikes before they're imported because we bought them there and then get a few things done on the Jeep. The boys are going to be doing that. Um, and then we'll carry on to the cabin. So I'm excited to see the cabin, see how the Battleborn batteries have held up and everything else. And then we'll do a few things for about two months there, which is not much time because there's like, okay, there's not a few things. There's a lot of things to get done. And we are going to be mapping out our next trip, big adventure. So can't wait to take you guys along. Whew, I'm a little bit tired, but we have, I don't know, probably a week more of driving before we're there. So see you guys later. Good morning from Colorado. That was a great place to spend the night. Um, the uh, Almost no traffic sounds at night. Um, they started up obviously in the morning again, but uh, just a great, a great little uh, stop along the road. So, I mean, if you're doing cross country travel, those kind of spots are very valuable and easy to access and easy to get out of in the morning. So we're back on the road heading north. This is day four and we are in mid Colorado, about two, two and a half hours from uh, Longmont, the Ross Monster uh, shop. And we're heading there to meet up with the crew and uh, we'll show you when we get there. We just made it to Longmont, Colorado, which is just outside of Denver. This is the Ross Monster facility. And the good folks here have agreed to allow us to park our truck here for a couple of months while we head back to Canada. We've got some stuff we need to do there. And you might be wondering why we're here rather than in Baja like we originally planned. Well, we, we've been waiting for the licensing for this truck and it still hasn't arrived. So it's been delayed by pretty much a month. So um, that is what it is. So we just go with the flow. We change our plans and we're, we decided to head up to the cabin and catch a little bit of uh, ice before it all melts and a little bit of winter before it's all gone. We've got a lot of different paperwork and things we need to do while we're there. And then Carol and I will be flying back here to, to Denver to pick up our home on wheels and keep going. We're cleaning it out, taking out the gear. We don't need on our trip and leaving everything else because we don't want to be you know shuffling things back and forth this is a completely self-sufficient unit and um, tell you what I'm not looking forward to, to leaving it behind it has become our home and it's become such a comfortable you know travel companion I hate leaving it but that's part of uh, our journey and that's gonna be part of our journey going forward in the coming years you know leaving it on a ship and meeting it in different countries and things like that so I guess we gotta get used to it. So we're gonna say bye to the truck for a little while, not very long, and then we'll be back. It's a, a strange feeling leaving our little house. I love this thing so much. I'm gonna miss it until we're back, but I'm excited to go check out the cabin too. So, And we'll have license plates when we get back. All right, we're leaving our comfortable home for a short amount of time with our good friends here at Ross Monster. They're gonna actually winterize it for us and put it away for a couple of weeks or months or whatever and then uh, Carol and I will be back. In the meantime, we're heading north to Montana to do some work on the Jeep and then we're heading across the country back to the east. So Gotta give good. it a hug. <laughs> I love this thing.
past the truck. Good morning. So that's where we woke up this morning, right by a lake. Sometimes you can't really see it when you pull in at night, but what an absolutely gorgeous spot to spend the night. And on that side are mountains all around. So beautiful, beautiful stop for one night here in Wyoming. But we're uh, taking off early. We've got a long ways to go, and uh, we want to do it before it gets the weather gets bad and the wind is supposed to pick up again. So yeah, let's uh, pack up and go. Ooh. It's a cold one, but we just got up. Peter and I are gonna continue down the road before another windstorm hits. But Wyoming's beautiful. We haven't spent much time in Wyoming and definitely this summer, I really want to. So check this out. We camped right next to like a reservoir or something. So there was birds all night, but uh, yeah, good sleep, super windy, like I said. But we're letting Lando stretch his legs while we go down this little dirt road. Oh, there's even bathrooms here. That's cool. So there's a parking lot, bathrooms, and then the pull off for the campers was really pretty. You have your own beach and everything. So, but we, we're just gonna drive about 50 kilometers to the nearest coffee. We need coffee. All right, we got coffees in hand, and it tanks full of fuel, and we're back on the open road, heading north through Wyoming. All right, we are moving, um, crossing Wyoming, but like usual, it's extremely high winds. Today there's a wind warning for 55 mile an hour crosswinds coming off those mountains. So we're hanging on and uh, reduced our speed a little bit. We're just gonna keep pushing through. They did have on the overhead sign, um, they said to expect possible closure due to high winds. So we're hoping that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, we'll just carry on. Whoa, <laughs> those gusts are something else. Just about made it to Bozeman, Montana. We didn't. We had some uh, doubts that we were going to make it all the way up here today. As you know, this morning we started, you know, near Laramie, Wyoming, and uh, we've gone through high wind warnings, uh, a bit of snow, a bit of rain. Uh, but the pathway opened for us, and the um, when I checked the the mountain pass here this morning, it was all snow and ice covered, but uh, it's cleared up. So we have smooth sailing into Bozeman. This is one of those towns that uh, feels like home for us. We have so many uh, friends and even friends that feel like family now uh, here that you know it just feels like coming home. Um, we've got the Croft family. I've been really good friends for a long time now. And then a lot of the fine folks that work at X Overland, like Tanner and Ryan and all the whole team there, you guys uh, have been really good friends of ours uh, as well always are welcoming and make us feel like we uh, are home when we get here. It's Friday afternoon so we're gonna see what work we can do tomorrow if any and then probably Monday Tuesday hopefully by then everything comes together we'll show you what we're doing some work on the Jeep finally finally getting a chance to repair the four-wheel drive on the Jeep and hopefully our plan is to put the power brakes on so stay tuned for that that is a really neat addition that we're gonna show you guys and, um, and then get some new rims and hopefully tires to get Worsley back into uh, proper condition. She's been beat up for a while, and uh, but still going strong. So now that the boys are taking over the Jeep, they're uh, 
we're getting in tip top shape. So we were actually in Billings, which is about two hours away, and we we're thinking of uh, stopping there for the night and uh, coming in tomorrow. And Carol and I, and uh, we got voted down <laughs> big time. The boys were like, "Wow, well, we're so close. Let's just push through." But they um, also just released the. Africa series, at least the first four parts of that series on the Exoland network. And so Pete's super excited to see that. He got an early uh, release of it, but he's watching it on his phone and he, he's like, I can't wait to get up there and watch it on a big screen with a good sound system. And so many reasons why um, we decided to push on and I'm, I'm glad we did because uh, the weather turned out beautiful as you can see behind me. And uh, not Last but not least, uh, Lando, he uh, perks up when we get on this road because I think with the mountains and everything, he knows where we are and he can't wait to see his friend Piper. <laughs> Exciting? <laughs> to arrive in different parts for the Jeep and uh, Lando's not a big fan of sitting still so uh, we have this dirt road out behind Clay's place up against the beautiful mountains and uh, it seems a perfect spot to run Lando so he's out there running hard to tire that guy up but he loves it <laughs> he just biffed it yeah you're a fast guy all the wheels arrived and the accessories, I think they're the lug bolts and everything. But it arrived too late to bring it over to uh, the shop right now. So we'll have to do that first thing in the morning. I might call them right now and make an appointment then there's no delays. But that's a good step in the right direction. Good morning. We uh, made our appointment with uh, Les Schwab in town and we're heading in. They open at 8 o'clock, so we want to be there as they open their doors. It's going to be an exciting day getting the brakes on, the new wheels, rotating the tires, hopefully uh, fixing the front axle. It'll be a pretty much a brand new Jeep when we're done. Alright, so we've finally been able to get Worsley into a shop and uh, today on the schedule is uh, new wheels, uh, power brakes, which we'll talk about a bit later and uh, they're just going to rotate the tires because we haven't sorted out tires situation yet. And then they're going to also make an attempt to repair the front axle, if you recall the four wheel drive is broken in that Jeep, so a lot going down today but it, uh, we're looking forward to it. back sooner than we think it just happens to be that way either on a trip or filming something or we're on a trip so yeah all ready to go i think we're 98 percent of the way there you guys drive safe on the way down Carol. bye we'll see you soon. <laughs> i gotta go say about Orlando. <laughs> bye papers yeah, you too. You guys Peter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good morning. So we just said bye to the Croft family and the team at X Overland, and we are heading east. We're leaving Bozeman for now. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back, but uh, got a long journey ahead of us. We're looking forward to getting to the island, so let's go. and we're already in North Dakota, just outside of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This place we've actually come to a few times in our journeys across country. Um, yeah, it's crazy because we have a, roughly a three day schedule planned out of driving, roughly seven hour days of actual driving, but the true amount of time that takes is with stops and everything is roughly nine or 10 hours. So they're decent travel days, but not crazy long because we still, don't know if the lake is fully either frozen enough or thawed enough for us to take a boat or a ski do. It seems like it'll most likely be the ice will be melted off enough for us to take a boat in the next week or so. So we're not really like making crazy pushes to get there soon because we'll just end up sitting in outside the marina anyway. But it was cool. Today was our first day traveling with the new power brakes and the new wheels on. The new wheels is just a beautiful new look. They fit with those incredible power brakes. And that is something we've been looking forward to installing for years now, like ever since we really saw them going on the Toyotas with X Overland, but it's also just a big uh, concern when you're adding so much weight to a vehicle, you're building out an Overland rig. You can think of, you know, managing your suspension, your gear ratios, everything else, but your brakes is one big consideration, especially when towing or anything like that. You want to have the stopping power to stop quickly if you ever need to, whether you're off-roading or on a highway. So we really, are already loving our power brakes. The braking period was 150 miles of just not doing anything too crazy on them, just use them like normal brakes and we've long exceeded that. So they're broken in and uh, yeah, we'll be using them a whole lot in the future. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see you down the road. Yeah. So we are just on the borderline of Teddy Roosevelt um, National Park. And it's one of our favorite spots to camp. Just breathtaking. Every time that we've come in here, we've seen a herd of elk. So it's always kind of special. Um, and we've seen uh, bison. So, yeah, it just blows your mind. Um, the beauty in North Dakota in this area. But, yeah, we've had beautiful weather so far. No wind this time, and the sun, as always here, it's gonna be a spectacular sunset. But uh, yeah, Orlando's loving it. He's just running all over the place with me as we take our walk, just soaking in this, and it's a really warm. It's uh, plus three right now Celsius. Let's make some oxygen choices. But, uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>